Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at our best trailer hitch options for our 2019 Hyundai Santa Fe. Up top we have the Kurt Class 3 hitch and below that we have the Draw Tight Class 3 hitch. Now these hitches share many similarities, but first I'd like to point out the notable differences. The first major difference I noticed was in the hitch's appearance. Now although both of these when installed are going to be noticeable, in my opinion the Kurt is going to contour to the shape of our vehicle a little bit better. As you can see here on our Santa Fe, the Kurt is going to just sit up a little bit higher and in my opinion blend in a little bit better. Now as you can see when looking at them from behind they both are going to look pretty similar. So the thing that may interest you the most is the actual finish of the hitch itself. The draw tight is going to have more of a matte or flat black finish and the Kurt, like this one here, this is going to be more of a gloss black finish. The next biggest difference I noticed was the hitch's actual weight capacities. The Kurt is going to have a 5,000 pound maximum gross trailer weight rating. So that's gonna be the amount of weight pulling on our hitch. It's also going to have a 750 pound maximum tongue weight rating. So that's going to be the amount of weight pushing down on the hitch. The draw tight is also going to have a 5,000 pound maximum gross trailer weight rating. But however, the maximum gross tongue weight rating or the amount of weight pushing down is only 500 pounds. So what that means is with the Kurt hitch, you're going to be able to carry more weight on the tongue of your hitch. For example, you're going to be able to carry more weight on a cargo carrier or maybe a couple extra bikes on your bike rack. Now keep in mind with the Kurt, for all non-trailer loads, they do require the use of a stabilizer strap. And if you need one, you can pick one up on eTrailer.com. Now a minor difference I'd like to point out is in regards to recreation. The draw tight is going to have a bracket already welded onto the hitch and that's going to make life a little bit easier if we choose to mount our wiring permanently outside to the hitch. But do keep in mind that brackets are available to clamp on to the Kurt hitch to do the same job. The draw tight is also going to have an additional hole drilled in it and that's for the use of a J-pin. Now a J-pin is a device to help stabilize our connection point and eliminate any rattle. There are devices available for the Kurt, however, to do the same thing. Now both of our hitches are going to have a standard 5A size pinhole. And the safety chain openings are going to be very similar. And they're both going to have plenty of room to use just about any size hook that you might have. As far as the installation goes, for the most part they're going to be very similar. Neither one of the hitches are going to require any drilling or trimming to get fully installed. When it comes to the hitch's appearance, since the Kurt is going to flow with the car's body lines and look a little bit better, it's going to take the check mark in that category. When it comes to the hitch's weight capacity, since the Kurt has a higher tongue weight rating, it's also going to take the check mark in that category. When it comes to the recreational use of our hitches, since the draw tight does have a bracket already welded on, it's going to get the check mark for that category. And that'll do it for our look at our best trailer hitch options for our Hyundai Santa Fe. I hope this information helps you when deciding which hitch to use for your Santa Fe.